So if you're a bit rusty with Excel or you've never seen Excel or you just want to brush up on how to use it and how to create a graph, uh, I've got some data here, entirely imaginary by the way. Um, it's looking at an, an imaginary experiment where we looked at um, the effect of oxalic acid on survival of some kind of species. Um, let's go with mice. So um, dose up mice um, is the amount of oxalic acid given to mice. Um, and here's the mortality level after two weeks. So you can see that as you increase the dose of oxalic acid, the mortality rate increases. Alright, so um, this data should be represented as a scatter plot. The way you will do that is to highlight all the data, go to insert, scatter, and just use that top left one. And hey presto, we've got a, a scatter plot. Now, the first thing you should notice that's wrong, or you will get to know that this is wrong, is that there's a title on the graph. Now, we never put titles on graphs. Um, what you should do though is if you've got a good title for a graph, it should appear in your figure legend as the first sentence. So to get rid of that, just left click and hit delete. Um, the next thing over here we've got a what's called a key. So this isn't a legend, it's a key to indicate what's going on in the graph. It's great if you've got two or more sets of data, so not only blue diamonds but you know, red squares as well, then you indicate over here what each of the data sets meant. Um, here we've only got one data set, so that's a useless key. So you just left click on that to highlight it and delete. It gives you more space for your graph. <clears throat> okay, next thing you might want to do is add a trend line um, so you can get the average of the graph. There are two ways to do this. Um, you go to layout and insert a trend line there. You pick your trend line, it's um, going to be a linear relationship. Um, or you can left click to highlight all of the data, right click and add trend line uh, and you can choose and there's a few other options here you can display the equation and the r squared value um, so there's your um, nice straight line linear trend line um, next thing you'd want to do is add axis titles to the graph so to do that you go to again layout axis titles let's put a horizontal axis in below now, what's that one? That will be um, oxalic acid. Ox. Going wrong. Ox. Uh, always remember to put in the units so someone would be able to replicate, replicate that. Yeah, that's good. Uh, put in a vertical axis and we'll go rotated and this one is mortality and that's expressed as a percentage okay good um, <clears throat> now the next thing you'd want to do is probably adjust these axes because See, there's a bit of wasted space up here along the x-axis and here along the y-axis and the way you can do that is to left click on one of the numbers along the axes and then right click to format now here um, all these things are in auto um, so Excel will choose for you what it wants to be uh, the values here um, you can change any of them to fixed and you decide. Um, so what we're going to do is change the maximum to fixed and 10. So that will change uh, so the data goes all the way to the end. Then we'll do the same for this uh, axis and reduce it down to 80. But also um, we'll reduce 
we'll change the minimum from minus 10 to 0. There we go. Nice graph. <clears throat> okay. Um, now that's looking good, you want to get it into one note. The way to do this easily is to right click on the graph, copy, go over to OneNote. I've already got it open. This is where we're going to be adding it. Um, just highlight that and then right click, paste, and in goes your graph. <clears throat> um, now, the next thing you want to do is make this nice and wide so your markers can see the detail. So it's as wide as the um, as the boxes that you've got here. The next next thing you want to do is to insert a um, insert a figure legend. And you might pull this box down a bit. The space for a figure legend here somewhere. That figure legend can go here. Um, figure two. <coughs> um, mortality rate. That's all um, okay. Something nice and descriptive that indicates <clears throat> what we're seeing on that graph. And we use mice, um, so there's its scientific name. Now, the next thing you want to do this is particularly pertinent for the uh, Artemia. Crack and that is to calculate the LC50. Um, LC50 is uh, the lethal concentration that kills 50% of organisms. Um, and the way you do that, so this is the death rate over here, and there's 50 there. So 50% of organisms died. Um, you've got to draw a, a line across here. Uh, draw straight line from 50 point across the trend line Just drop that okay and then another line from your trend line downwards there we go And that's how you would measure your LC50. <clears throat> In this case, it's a um, oxalic acid is um, delivered as a dosage, so it's actually LD50. But um, that's important information because um, I'd want to know what those drawn lines are. So um, LD50. Let's go with 6.5 and the units milligrams per kilogram body weight. Oops, must spell correct. Okay, so that uh, should help you um, put together the graph for your first um, first practical. Later on, you'll be um, so this is back in Excel. Later on, you'll be um, putting multiple sets of data on. So this is a representation of sort of the same data, but um, with different species. So maybe mouse, rat, uh, possum, perhaps. And you can highlight all of those. Insert scatterplot. I'll put all three sets on there. Then you can add trend lines. <clears throat>